last year. We'll be doing 15 this year. And, oh, I got a volume turning up sign here. And no, I you turned the thing on the bottom. I think you touched the... Oh, this? This right here? Yeah. This right here. That sounds better. Okay, that was a volume. So, yeah, this is our second poetry for personal power. This year we did 10 last year. We're doing 15 this year. And this is part of Live Your Life Week. So those of you that are involved with the peer educators can compete for $275 for most advocacy in relation to our themes, which is what do you do to get through tough times in your life? What gives you personal power? So we've heard about poetry, gardening, exercise, martial arts, uh, spirituality, be in, in touch with volunteers and friends around you. The guy who won our event last night talked about Dungeons and Dragons helps him get through. And he was saying something about, I'm Xandra, the art player, and you may run around with different drugs, but all those mushrooms you're smoking, then I have a dragon and he can come along and eat those mushrooms. And you may be reading books about unicorns and seeing them with your drugs, but I'm the one riding the back of that unicorn. So anyway, we, we just want to know what gets you through tough times, and that's the theme of our event tonight. And I'm Karina West, and I'm the founder of Poetry for Personal Power. And I was on the 1996 Olympic judo team, and I'm a survivor of 12 psychiatric diagnoses and seven shock treatments and six suicide attempts and five hospitalizations and 29 different psych meds. And now I've completely exited that system and I no longer take meds or see a doctor or talk Amen. to a therapist. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So I'm just here to share the, the idea that it is possible to graduate from those kind of difficulties. Uh, someone just put their hand up and I think they did too. I don't want to point them out if they don't want to be pointed out. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's not only an on-ramp to mental health, if you're having struggles and difficulties, there's an off-ramp. And a lot of times that off-ramp story is the other side of the story that we don't hear. We hear the on-ramp story from the, the lobbyists who have a lot to uh, profit from that story, but we don't hear the off-ramp story. So I wanted to share that story with you and talk about different things that can help people. Peer support, friends, your friends around you, those can be really helpful. And different things that give you power. So what gives you power? That's what we're talking about tonight. Let me check my notes and do a couple of poems and launch into the open mic. So what's going on in our current mental health system is that right now there's a lot of people who need help who don't get help, but there's a lot of people who don't need help who do get help. So it's really important just to know that if you're getting help, or if you need to get help, it's important to ask questions and be sure if you're in one category or the other category. Are you getting help you don't need? Are you not getting help you do need? Right now, the information that's being given out about mental health, a lot of it is influenced by pharmaceutical funding or by hospital funding. And so it's important to try to go out and get unbiased sources of information. So I've got some kind of unbiased stuff over there it may be biased by the fact that it was written by survivors, so it may have its own bias. So just be aware of that nowadays, in today's world, you have to get your own information and you have to be aware of bias. So what I'm gonna do is take one minute. I, tomorrow, I'm competing in a grant contest to get a $100,000 grant to fund my business. So uh, I have one minute to talk about my business. So I'm gonna practice in one minute with you guys, and I'm gonna go into my poems and do the open mic. Does someone have a stopwatch where they can sort of hold a finger up? I got it. All right, so, so start it, and then sort of hold a finger up for 45 seconds, and then I'll try to sum up. Uh, how do we do it? I'll do 45 yeah, do like, seconds, yeah, uh, yeah. half a minute, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, yeah, so tell me when you're ready. <laughs> I'm a forensics kid, so, oh, sorry. Okay, my name is Karina West, and my business is Wellness Boardworks. 
and I'm trying to share mental health information and get people connected with ways they can support themselves and ways that other people can support them. And those tools can build a mental health system that's much, much, much cheaper than the traditional mental health system. And we're trying to use new technology like Google's 100 times faster internet to build a video-based warm line, which is a call and support line where folks who have recovered can help each other recover. And we're hoping to pay for that so it can be a completely self-supporting business with a micro-lending program where people who are in emotional distress can get a $2,000 loan to spend on anything they need to help themselves get better. And some of that money can be spent on membership for a warm line, it can be spent for peer hospitals, and this should be much more effective than the traditional health system and much Not cheaper. two poems and then I'm going to bring everybody up. So we're going in order on the sign up list. It's not too late to sign up. We got a hundred dollars cash prize and a lot of our events when we say cash we've actually meant checks but at this event cash actually means cash. So a <laughs> hundred dollars for first, fifty for second, twenty-five for third and we'll have some honorable mention prizes. The digital poem collages which is an art form that I do and uh, CDs and books for mention and those are also for sale five bucks or three for twelve and if you need info on how to safely and very slowly and carefully discontinue from cycling we have books available for donations whatever and uh, it has to be very very slowly <laughs> if that's something you ever want to try to do so my one of my poems about my experience is called cloudscapes and it's also one of those collages and it's called I made it and my friend Brenda did not and since this is Live Your Life Week and Suicide Prevention Week, it's my experience uh, with suicide and my sorrow about my friend who didn't make it. Through the fire I walked, through the valley where everything was evil. I lived in the land of the peril, my hopes destroyed, my destiny empty, my dreams deferred forever. I believed I had no power to choose a challenge to contribute to the creation on this planet. So in that place, I hate the dust. Logic of the doom descending as I chose to end my days upon this earth. Yet, my creator knew better than me as he gave my life was worth of his own son. He saved me all six times. Like the one I tried to hang myself in the barn, redeem for the world to be when the neighbor took 30 seconds to come see. So I stepped off that stool. I stepped down into the valley of the pit. I dug the stairs. I found the tools. I built the connection right back to a new life. I learned to redefine, recreate, find a path through the heart, start a spark and drew the dark, burn hope into a beacon like the lamp up on the hill and through my will, I trained my life to be a miracle on the men. A spiritual attempt to be human. Hope I'll be the 3 a.m. to pen the world heart of a true friend. Defer a few decisions made in desolate, deep drowning desperation. Send a prayer on the wind for the 15% who died instead of me. For the ones whose souls will never find a way to intercede. As I fly forward through time, I carry their souls through mine and the sky start to unwind. I watch the world unfolding, learn to trust my clay in the hardest of all the hands. Beauty molding all around me, my life changing unexpectedly. My scars turn into wings, my tears blossom and sing. The price of a human being that's my wellness tools, one of the things that gives me personal power is bicycling. And I wanted to ride my bike up here. I thought I could do it in, in a day, because it's, what, about 120 miles? And 
uh, I just couldn't because I had th the event just like this last night and then I had this other event tomorrow so I didn't have time. So this poem is called Be Careful for all the people who see me leaving on a bicycle and say, be careful. You be careful. You're the one driving a car. You might get from point A to point B and not even realize where you are. Bypass every adventure in between. Don't interact with a single human being. Live life sealed off in a tin can, away from any random happening plan. <laughs> Cars or coffins, we say, because real life happens to us every day. Be careful with your body. Choose to be strong or choose to be floppy. Use it or lose it, because it was built to be moved just a bit more than those boring 30 minutes on a treadmill or that doctor taking 10 minute appointments to pick out your head pills. I've traded my commute in for friends and thrills. There's no bad weather. We say only bad gear and your bleeding doubt fear that keeps you from being out here. Be careful with your money, all of that income, just keep the cars running, all of that green, just to come between you and your surroundings. Like passing by all the local merchants to fill your car at the big box store, live free or drive, we say, because we avoid some of those hidden costs every day. Be careful with your fuel, get it from a dictator who knows how to rule because oppression in oil producing countries increases with the price of gas while we could have built a transportation system that could last. Instead, we're funding an empire of global resource grabs. No Iraqis died to fuel my bicycle, we say, because real life happens to us every day. By riding my bicycle to work, I choose to very carefully change the world. There's no war in Iraq fought for my gas. I live on a human scale, and I transport my own ass. <laughs> I can finish up with one more poem before I bring you guys all up to show me your good stuff, and then uh, stay tuned. This is the this is comes we're inter intertwining with our the feature poet. The late night event tonight is the Asia Project, and so stay tuned for that poet. And I'm definitely want to see them too. So. Last one I'm gonna do is called Your Only Flavor is Vanilla if you don't have a mental health diagnosis. <laughs> I could tell you my soul as I lose control, curl my fans into a ball, fall below the root, ground into the dirt by my enveloping fears, grab my Shreds of self as I flow away in the wind, follow the threads of the stealth of the Tito, watch my mind as pieces grow sweeter, find three other realities in a one block slide through the streets of my city, roaring the power, the vision, the true way of what was never there before, hardcore rapport with the whole world written on the concrete or whatever tried to eat AMC Tower, the young couple, in the grocery store with the matching brown shirts holding a wicker basket. I pick my can of beans. They were never there. The man on his porch yells, no gas. I ride by on my bicycle and yell, rock on. But there's nothing there but woods. <laughs> but what's real is the unlaced shoes wadded in the clothes, in a blanket, in the gutter from the man who spent the night in the rain with the same kind of pain and the fear filling his head and are going insane and the people we dread instead of seeing the human i'm swimming sideways through lead in a parallel universe and everything you said is as complex and as obvious as the beauty of taking my breath scare me downstream to the intertwined interactions the incantation my identity, the courage to drag all this together, to face the fright, to wander through the night of purple stars, hold panic like a brick to bring a face right outside the mind of pain, power, face any misperception along with all the interplanetary connections. I can take my unreality because I'm stronger 
all the misdirections. <laughs> all right, the way we're going to get into this open mic, the way it works is we're running an order on the sheet, so if anyone wants to suddenly change their order, now's the time to do it. And